Jerusalema i kayala mi kilo no lo sé I appreciate his enthusiasm and his passion because we need to leave this place empowered. You understand? It's not good enough to just come here and listen to speeches and go back home and get comfortable again. There, we are at war. We are at war for our family, our children, our lives. The 14th Amendment gives us due process. It guarantees us equal protection under the law. So why in the world are the unvaccinated being treated differently than the vaccinated? It is the new segregation. It is the new discrimination. And we have to stop it. Government for the people, by the people, will not be destroyed. We have to recognize our power. We are magistrates. What is happening here today, what is happening around our state and in our city, is people are invoking the doctrine of the lesser magistrates. And most of you probably don't even understand what that is and don't even understand what I'm talking about. Well, the doctrine of the lesser magistrates is the doctrine upon which this country was founded. It is the basis of the 10th Amendment, which says that any authority that is not given to the federal government is reserved to the states. And if our local leaders fail to protect its citizens and fail to step between a tyrannical federal government and its citizens, fails to protect the rights of its citizens, then those rights and authority is extended and given to the people. Yeah. We, the people, is how the Constitution starts. A magistrate is a person that operates under authority. They have power. They are higher magistrates and they are lesser magistrates. The founding fathers of this country understood that there's going to come a point in time where the federal government will need to be checked. If not, they will become tyrants. And that is what's happening now. So, the Declaration of Independence says that everyone, by virtue of being a human being, has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The federal government, too, the federal government, their purpose is to protect the rights of those citizens, the rights of us to our life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. The third point of that document is if they fail to protect its citizens and enforce those rights, the citizens have a right to revolt. Do you understand? We have a right to resist. And we have an obligation and a duty to do so. Do you understand? Do you understand what it says? A duty? Médico, y vemos el punto legal. En este caso, el centro, el centro para medical services, CMS, en su opinión, ellos son que son los que están, que dan los fondos, que están sobre los hospitales y los nursing homes. Los nursing homes, yo veo aquí en Nueva York, te puedo hablar de experiencia, ellos están en un shortage, ellos están ahora mismo en un corto de trabajadores y después de la vacuna mandatoria todavía están en un corte.